Whether he's a starter or someone who comes off the bench, a role player is someone who plays a very important and specific role on a team. And if they do their roles well, it usually results in a victory for the squad. Today, we'll talk about the top role players in the MPBL. And joining us for this conversation, we have MPBL commentators Mix Gomez and Dip. Di Pianco. Uh, hello, gentlemen. Hello, sir. Hello. Okay, role players. Ang pinag-usapan dito sa MPBA. Right. Top role players. How do you define a role player? Well, for us, a role player is defined as someone who is put on the floor for a specific reason. So, hindi to star player. Right? Hindi siya star hindi player. Hindi siya star player. Mm -hmm. Yung nga, sabi ni Migs, parang may sarili siyang hindi siya necessarily scorer or what, usually off the bench or kung starter man siya, hindi siya yung may spotlight sa laro. Kung baga siya yung hindi mo na masyadong napapansin pero he gets the job done. Okay. So, At importante yung ginagawa nila for the team. Right? Yes. Okay. Who are the top role players in MPBL? Go. I'll start. Okay, go. Role player number one with no bias whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> because he's a dear friend of mine, Mr. Ryan Arambulo of Iloilo because si Ryan kasi dito Miko, last year pa lang sa Valenzuela, ito na yung energy guy. Na pag pinapasok talaga on the floor, immediately naka-press yan. Whole court man to man, he's made for defense, for getting steals, and then on offense then, lagi siyang umaatake. Usually, end one yung mga situations na nakukuha niya. And the thing with Ryan Arambolo kasi, he's always fighting for his minutes. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. Kasi kung tutusin, kung isang role player, yun naman talaga, kailangan mo ipakita na deserve mo yung minutes on the floor. So ever since he was playing for Valenzuela, and now in Iloilo, consistent na siya na pinapasok sa loob for Iloilo. Minsan pa nga, nag-start pa yan eh. Yeah. Dahil uh, pinapakita niya that he's deserving of the time he gets on the floor. You gotta give props to this guy kasi dito Miko na nasa stage siya. Scorer laro niya. Okay, so he had to adjust. Mm -hmm. right? Had to make the... I, remember, I can imagine ito yung guy na pag-insayo, pinupush niya yung lahat mm -hmm. oh, yes. in order to work harder. Okay, number two on the list of top five MPBL role players. All right, next on the list is uh, Felix Aprecu of Pampanga. So, usually yung starter dyan and the superstar is Mark Cruz which is known as the Ant-Man. Yes. So, ito si Felix Apreco, yung Wasp ni, ni Ant-Man. <laughs> galing, galing! Dahil, uh, <laughs> Dali, ha? Ang alam mo, yung Wasp, babae yun eh, sa Marvel eh. Wala na yung gender rules. Ah, okay, okay. So, <laughs> siya yung parang sidekick ni Ant-Man in terms of uh, role niya sa loob dahil yung ginagawa ni Apreco is rebounding ever since Letran days nila together. Yun na yung role niya sa kanyang team eh. Nagkumukuha siya ng rebounds and kung kailangan siya mag-score for the pick and rolls, nandun din siya para i-feed off ni Mark Cruz. Kaya pala niya ako yung nakakusap kanina. Iniisip niya yung analogy na yun. Hindi, <laughs> baon na pala ito eh. Hindi <laughs> ako pa iniisip yun. Uh, Felix Abreco is one of the leading rebounders kasama ni Shaq Tagana sa Datu Cup. And now, there you go. His role has translated to Pampanga. I, I like that. Kung si Mark Cruz is the parang scorer mm -hmm. and the focal point of the offense, si Abreco will do everything else. Yeah, exactly. Okay, next guy on the list. Next guy on the list, we have... Mr. Eman Kahlo of the Davao Occidental Tigers. In the words of Mr. James Forrester, isa siya sa top three na pinaka-pogi sa Davao team. <laughs> Tignan mo naman. Ito ang, ang sabi nito ni si James <laughs> Forrester. And I quote. Ang nagsabi nito. <laughs> Ito si Eman Kahlo kasi every time he plays, uh, pesky defender. Uh, and then, <laughs> masaya siya kalaro eh, kasi ang ganda rin na smile niya eh, kahit medyo hindi complete yung ngipin. Pero, <laughs> pugi-pugi pa rin talaga tayo kay Mr. Ano Eman Kahlo. Ano mo, confidence lang ang kailangan oh, dyan. There you go. And also, just, uh, I just covered him recently with Coach Putit. And nasabi nga ni Coach Putit sa atin na yung maganda kay Eman Kahlo, hindi mo alam eh kung anong position niya. Parang pwede siya mag-point guard, pwede siya mag-big yeah. man or mag-wing. Kasi ganun siya ka-versatile. Kung baga, he can play all positions and be able to contribute no matter what he plays on the floor. Mm -hmm. So, hindi siya glamour player, mm -hmm. uh, pero mahalaga yung role niya on the team. Mm -hmm. By the way, si Eman Kahlo, he didn't get drafted last year. Mm -hmm. But in his first game back in the MPBL, best player siya. Ah, okay. So, ano lang? Kung baga, laban okay. lang. Yeah. Alright, next guy on the list. Next is uh, Elmar Moradas of Pasay which is a guy also you usually coming off the bench para sa Pasay Voyagers. And the thing with him is, kahit fourth quarter mo pa siya ipasok, he can hit the biggest shots for you. Yun yeah. siguro yung role niya eh. Parang misleading na, ah, hindi to starter, hindi to kilalang scorer. Pero pagdating sa fourth quarter, siya yung tumitira ng mga last shots or yung mga clutch baskets para sa Pasay. Actually, si Elmar, ever since John Hamon got injured for Pasay, he got the starting bid na, mm -hmm. starting shooting guard siya. Tapos, sabi ni Coach Marlon Monte talaga na, Defender ang role niya. But 
through the course of the season, doon na-develop yung three-point shot niya. Okay, and uh, last but not the least. We gotta give it to this guy. Uh, former UE Red Warrior. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Jed Mendoza, former JRU Heavy Bomber as well. Uh, pagpasok niya kasi sa MPBL dito, Miko, undefeated ang Binyan. Five straight victories. And uh, this guy, kasi kilala natin si Alan Mangas bilang star player ng yeah. Binyan. But usually he comes off the bench. Si Jed yung yung uh, point guard na nagsisimula, nagpapacilitate to set things the right way para sa kanyang kukunan. And as you all know, he also played in the UAP. One and done for the UAP Red Warriors. And siyempre, yung matunog dyan, Ray Suerte. And he was also playing behind Ray sa UAN. This, this time, sabi niyan, same rule pa rin, pero hindi na siya pwede kalimutan dahil gaya nga na nasabi ni Migs, yung impact na nagawa niya. Five straight victories for his team since he got to the MPBA. Nakikita mo rin naman yun eh, kapag uh, you're, you have the same position with a star player, pag pinagsabay na kayo, ibig sabihin, ganun kataas na yung value mo. At nangyayari na yun for Coach Ted Miranda. Okay, so we looked at five players, di ba? Ryan Arambolo, Felix Apreto, Eman Calo, Elmar Moradas, and Jed Mendoza. My question to the two of you is, anong klaseng role player yung paborito nyo? Is it yung role player in offense, role player in defense, o yung role player na basta intangibles lang talaga? Una ka. Una ka. Yung, yung role player actually na so far in my time covering MPBL, yung gusto ko yung hustle guy. Yung intangibles na hindi mo nakikita sa numbers kung ano yung ginagawa niya. Kasi, yun nga, pwedeng makita mo sa stats, sa stat sheet na, ah, ang dami niya na-score, mm. ang dami niya na-rebound. Pero what you don't see on paper is the number of times the guy dives on the bo- uh, for the ball, sa loose ball, how many times the guy runs over yung uh, mga, hindi naman sinasadya yung mga fans, kumbaga, tatang yung tatalong oh, ka for the ball. Pwede rin okay. Oh, ganun, <laughs> diba? Or tipong lahat lang talaga gagawin para makuha yung bola para sa kanyang, ki- sa kanyang team. For me, that's why I put Ryan Arambulo first on the list because pag pinasok kasi si Ryan, alam mo na eh, na nandyan siya for that reason which is to defend, get those steals and usually, uh, manufacture the comebacks para sa kanyang opponent. Okay, our, that's our discussion on the top 5 role players of the MPBL. As always, Nick Gomez and Dip Dip Yako, maraming salamat. Thank you. Still ahead, barring any major surprises, the Kraken is poised to extend his reign as PBA MVP for possibly a 6th straight season. Can anyone challenge Junmar Fajardo for that MVP trophy? Find out when the score returns.